Hi there, uh, my name's Laura. I'm from Grand North East Cumbria, and today we're going to be doing a walk uh, from South Park down to Snake Pond and back again. So, starting point at the clock tower at South Park, and what we're going to do is we're going to head down towards the main gates on the park side road. So, these are the main gates on Parkside Road. What we're going to do is we're going to cross the road carefully, keeping an eye out for traffic, and onto the green space you can see beyond. So once you're on the green space, cross the green space following the River Skern downstream. Uh, coincidentally this area used to be a boating lake up until the 1950s from the 1920s. So this is stood roughly in the middle of the boating lake, River Skern there in the distance, just beyond those trees. Uh, so it would have gone halfway up that grass on the far side and everything flat you can see would have been lake. Uh, over there by the main entrance in from the uh, road, that's where you would have picked up your rowboats. These trees would have been right on the edge of the lake. Coincidentally the, the road behind there is actually called Lakeside. Um, obviously no lake there now but it gives you an idea of how big the lake was when you see that this big flat area used to be lake so we're now down at the seven ripples or five ripples or just the weir depending on who you speak to so that was the boating lake and as you can see here this is the original dam to hold back the boating lake and we're going to go across the weir here. So this is the weir and then over on that side those railings are around a, a fish pass for trout and salmon to go upstream. Uh, keep an eye out when you're down here there's quite often uh, kingfishers seen and there have been otters seen here as well. So on the other side of the weir you can see uh, Blackwell Meadows, which is the rugby club and where Darlington Football Club is based. And we're going to go left. Move. Keep following the path alongside the skirn downstream. Um, these are the training pitches for Darlington Rugby Club and Darlington Football Club on your right hand side. So just keep following the path. So the plants you can see here, these are giant hogweed. There's one in flower there and the rest of them are all in seed. That's about three metres tall and you need to be aware that the sap from them, even from the dried stems, um, is caustic on human skin. So if you see those sorts of things, stay away from them. But luckily they're on the other side of the river. So that structure in front of us is the Skern Pipe Bridge. That is the original crossing point of the Skern at this end of town uh, before the A66 was built. So this is the Skern Pipe Bridge. They've just come from that direction. You can go that way to the Rugby Club and Grange Road. Rugby Club you can see in the distance. And we're going this way. So that in front of us is the bridge which the A66 goes over the River Skern. I'm going to follow the path underneath it and uh, down towards Snipe Pond. So on the far side of the bridge we have this area here. Um, this area is managed as a wildflower meadow. So at the moment it just looks like a grassy field. But if you come between May, June, July, this is a, a, a lovely wildflower meadow. And the trees you can see just there, they're a mixture of apple and pear trees because Beyond there, there used to be two cottages and they're the trees that were left over from their back gardens. So I'm currently stood on Snipe Lane, however, the place you can access is up to that gate there. There's a little car park as well. Beyond that gate is no vehicle access. As you can see, there's the bridge over the A66 in the Wildflower Meadow. And where we're walking down is there, which is old Snipe Lane. So that's the footpath we walked down and this is Snipe Pond. So Snipe Pond 
was originally a Victorian settling pond for a sewerage works um, which was shut down and replaced in the 1950s uh, since then it's been managed by various groups including the Brown Trout Trust um, but it's now jointly managed by Darlington Council the Friends of Snipe Pond uh, with assistance of the Durham Wildlife Trust uh, it's in fact three separate um, bays uh, separated by concrete walls underneath the water you can see in the centre of the picture there a uh, spigot point for allowing water into the River Skern from the pond itself. Uh, it is still used as a fishing pond, uh, hasn't been stocked by the Environment Agency in a few years though. Uh, so the pathway actually goes right around the back of the pond and then back out the path here. So on the way to Snipe Pond we came across the Seven Ripples but on the way back keep going on this side of the, the river don't go across the Seven Ripples it'll take you back under Parkside Bridge into South Park So there is the Parkside Bridge the pass is actually on the other side of the river I completely forgot about that uh, on this side there is actually a little woodland that was put in as part of the Tees Forest that you can have a look around and we're heading up this side of it towards Parkside Road. 